Oh no, it's Valentine's Day, and Jennifer, even though she's in a significant relationship and actually married for five years, is going to have a miserable time again unless she learns some lessons. Jennifer loves Valentine's Day, and she has attempted the last years to get ready by making the house look like it's full of cherubs and valentines and rose-colored cupcakes. You name it, she has done it. But the problem is that David has come home each and every year with a cheap little valentine that he picked up on the way home, and he's tired, he's fallen asleep after her delicious meal and candlelight, and she was really upset. So how can things happen differently this time? Well, she's going to have to learn an important lesson, and that is that most people, and certainly most men, are not psychic. We can't read each other's minds, so if you want something special, you have to make that message clear. So here's what she should do this year. Not only decorate the house with cherubs and valentines and pink cupcakes, but she should make clear to David that it's really a special romantic night for her. And please, if he's tired, could he try to take a little nap and then they could sit on the couch and maybe watch a love romance mystery or movie together and get all cuddly and he'll try to stay awake. It really means a lot to her. And could he please be responsive to her lovely meal? And she could be all cute and sexy as she asks for him to notice Valentine's Day at their house. And I have a hunch, if she listens to me and she tries this, David will stay more awake and he will give her the type of Valentine's treat she's looking for and she won't be in the dumps again. So Valentine's Day will end up a treat instead of a treatment. Just try it.